welcome, welcome back to Love and Hips. Welcome, everyone. TV welcome, okay. welcome, welcome. <laughs> Feels like forever, right? It does. It really does. We are back in the building after the Feels good. Out, but it feels good. A whole month. Did y'all miss us for the for the holiday, for Labor Day? What we, did y'all eat? Did y'all say it was a, a plate? No. <laughs> did y'all bring us a plate? I mean, no. that was everybody's end of the summer uh, shindig. <laughs> What'd you do? Hot girl summer's over. <laughs> Never over. It's over. Hot, hot girl winter. Hot girl fall and winter coming. It's pumpkin season. I'm a pumpkin fan, so you Ugh, just, I just hate pumpkin. I love everything oh. pumpkin. Pumpkin spice. Uh-oh. Bring your baby. No. Yes. I hate it. No. Oh no. No. Mm-mm. See, that's that's we different. Caramel, like caramel lattes, caramel. Okay. Hot caramel apple ciders. Apple ciders and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. I like you know, I like that stuff, but I just love my pumpkin stuff. So I'm already starting to find all kind of pumpkin. Uh-uh. <laughs> pumpkin everything you like pumpkin donuts and stuff and yes i like all of that and that's the only time i really like really s- sweet stuff you know so mm-hmm. but but yeah this is my time for well, all the time i want to say honey i'm loving this hair on you this hair is everything you're giving me all nubian yes, honey yes this was my uh labor day hair <laughs> <laughs> not your labor day hair yes you know i i always do something for myself during labor day because uh-huh. that's what it's about you know if you work hard then you need to play hard. So I went on a little getaway, a little vacation. We saw. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, no questions. <laughs> so y'all saw my little pictures on Facebook and stuff, but I had a great time. I went to uh, Charleston, uh, South Carolina, and it is a beautiful place. I always knew it was, but mm-hmm. it, the it was just amazing. Pictures don't do it any justice. You got to go there and just visit. Yeah, you look like you was very refreshed. I, I'm still posing as saying. usual. Glowing like a night. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no. Somebody was, real happy. Yeah, it was much needed for me, y'all. So we don't got we we been gone for a month. So what's been going on I'm in a, KP's life? I'm gonna catch up with you because when I tell you, I <laughs> definitely want and need a vacation, girl. Definitely, because it's been I've been on go. Um, shoot, since the last month we've been here, I have been focusing on KP. I have um began networking with a company called uh, Media Girls Network. Okay. And they are a dope company who knows the hottest events here in Atlanta, L.A., New York. Um, it's more of a network and promotional, yeah, I love you know. Network. Yes, the networking mm-hmm. is amazing. The sisterhood is amazing, great. Um, I've also started, you know, my. Of course, y'all know I've done Classic Boutique. Yeah. So this weekend, I finally launched my first mm-hmm. video. Well, Classic uh, shoots. Uh, with my model, so shout out to Mia, um, CC, my girl Dia, aka Michelle, um, my girl Cassandra, my Haitian queen. Um, it was amazing. David Price did his thing. Uh, we don't want to show everything now. I'm just going to give a little quick snippet, um, just an update about what's going on. Um, it was an amazing shoot, so been working on that. And then also starting next week. I will be in school, bachelor's okay. for um, healthcare management. Yes, yes, As you know, we both know healthcare field is is on demand. demand. It's on go. It's in booming mode. They paying money out the yin yang just to really get into that field. So of course, Toy been in the field. How long, Toy? Uh, seventeen years. Seventeen years. I've been in about fifteen years. She's a <laughs> nurse. I'm, you know, administrative. So. We've been both doing our thing on that, so yes, yeah, so it's, it's a go on top of you know motherhood and trying to balance work life, play life, uh, entertainment life, entrepreneur life, <laughs> bills, man. If you're dating or you know trying to even have a date in life, which is what it goes back into what I was it's saying. It's hard. Take a vacation. It's hard. Take a yes. break. <laughs> Take a break. I definitely from need home. a vacation. Got yes. to disconnect. You and, do, you know, and then come back to it because you can't you can't run from it. You can't get away from it totally. So, and let me tell you one thing it. about your body: it will let you know. It will. Like I yesterday, I was on go from seven a.m. I didn't get back home to almost midnight. I was on go today. I've literally been to bed all day. Girl, it'll be on shut. It'll and, shut down. On yeah. <laughs> and then got give in the morning and be somebody's supervisor. So I'm just like, oh Lord. So, of course, I'm definitely gonna take me a vacation within the next couple of weeks i do want to try to charleston i'm gonna it's try it beautiful out. and it's like only four about about a four four and a half hour drive bad. and it's 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 just a beautiful place all the boats and the marinas and you know and then it's just got that classiness about it. it's historic i love it's it kind of like, like savannah 
right? You I know, love which Savannah. is right there next to it. Okay. Which is right there next to it, but okay. uh, you know, I think they're all, they're a couple of hours apart. Mm-hmm. But so it's kind of got that feel, but Savannah kind of reminds me of New Orleans. It does. This Very. is not as New Orleans. Oh, I love it's it. It's kind of I don't know. It's just ritzy a little bit. It's a little bit more ritzy. Oh, okay. Right up your alley. <laughs> just a little, yeah, thank you. You know me. Right up your alley. A little <laughs> so bougie. A per- little bit bougie, yeah. Well, what but about it, you? What you been doing? Oh, gosh, just working, y'all. I'm telling you, uh, being a nurse right now, if you ain't getting your hustle on right now and you a nurse, then uh, you there's no excuse, okay? So just been putting that work in. Um, okay. COVID is out here. And yes. It's doing its thing, so it's keeping us nurses busy. So I've been doing a whole lot of that. And then in my free time, quote unquote, or my home time, I am still working on getting my house decorated. I'm going to show y'all some pictures and stuff and pop them up here and there of uh, some projects that I've been working on. I in see my you house. doing your thing, it's, girl. It's coming along. It's starting to feel, really feel like home, and I'm excited about that. You're over there painting and doing your girl, little yeah, market. I, I got me a new car, girl. Yes, I'm honey. She done pulled up in a whole new car. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I had to change the game up. Look so at God. You know, but that's how it is. New house, new car? Yeah, just go and get it. You know, now I say new house, new car, new man. <laughs> huh. That's next. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm claiming it in the name it. of Jesus. I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, speaking of new, y'all. So, you know, a, a while ago, I, I introduced uh, On the Beat with Toy Cherie. Yes. And then we never did just... That it do what it do. So uh, I have a new segment of Love and Hips TV called On the Beat with Toy Cherie. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we are gonna do our first one today. Yes. I am too excited Let's about try. it. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited look, for look, you. My sister over here, she more excited now. I, I am I because when I see it. when I see like the previews, I was over there screaming like, "Yes, Toy, <laughs> this is you!" Because this is definitely Toy. Yeah. Now, you know, I got Charlie. He just does his thing all the time. He does. So Charlie is amazing. He put that together, and it is it's, it's amazing. I'm, I'm excited about it. So uh, we're going to get that started. We later. are. And before we get that started, we want to let y'all know what our hot topic is so y'all can go on and get ready and start calling in so y'all can go ahead and tell us what y'all thoughts are and everything. So let's talk about what this hot topic is. Let me let y'all know what it is. Toy, what you think it is? I can't even remember what it is. Should a husband defend his wife when his family talks bad about her? So that is tonight's hot topic. We had actually put it in our group yes. uh, chat. So we had a, some feedback from that. We're going to talk to y'all about how we feel, of course. Yes, and Lord. y'all can call in. 470-251-4647 or respond on the chat. All yes, right? y'all call in. <laughs> So, y'all, we are going to get into my first on the beat with Toy Cherie. Yes. <laughs> Rest in peace to Greg Leakes, husband of Nene Leakes from Real Housewives of Atlanta. He has succumbed to his long-term battle with cancer. Our condolences go out to Nene and the family. He will be missed. COVID-19 is still very prevalent in our nation. And the Delta variant is here and lots of lives have been lost due to it. It is particularly having an effect on our youth at this time due to them being back in school. Pfizer is the first COVID vaccine that has officially been approved by the FDA for safe administration. So if you have not been vaccinated, please consider getting the vaccine. If not for you, for the sake of our children. MSNBC correspondent Joy Reid blasts Nicki Minaj over anti-vaccine tweets. Let's watch the clip. And people people like like Nicki Minaj, I have to say this. You have a platform, platform, sister, that is 22 22 million million followers. followers. Okay, Okay, I have 2 million followers. You have 22 million followers on Twitter. For you to use your platform to encourage our community to not protect themselves and save their lives, my God, sister, you could do better than that. You got that platform. You, it's it's a blessing. It's a blessing that you got that, that people listen to you. And they listen to you more than they listen to me. For you to use your platform to put people in the position of dying from a disease they don't have to die from, oh, my God. As a fan, as a hip-hop fan, as somebody who is your fan, I'm so sad. Mm-hmm. 
In other news, the Matt Gala is back, y'all, as a host of celebrities, including Beyonce, Kim Kardashian, and Rihanna, showed up and showed off their best looks at the $35,000 per seat event. Yes, $35K per seat. And according to these looks, they were glad to be back in the building. Particularly, all eyes were on rapper Nicki Minaj in her beautiful red gown and Lil Nas X, who did not disappoint in his three-look all-gold ensemble. He brought the bling to the party. Yes, yes, yes. You better work, diva. Three snaps up in the Z formation. And Broadway is back, y'all. So go and get your tickets to some of the best shows, The Lion King, Wicked, and Hamilton, just to name a few. Get a seat at a theater near you. Philadelphia agrees to pay $2 million to a black woman beaten by the police. The settlement comes after the woman was beaten, handcuffed, and her son was used in a photo op by the Fraternal Order of Police last year. Love and hip hop star Mo Fane was sentenced to 17 years in prison for a PPP loan fraud. Just goes to show that everything that is famous and rich is not always legit. With the exception of this guy, Jay-Z is reportedly on a short list of potential buyers for the Denver Broncos. Talk about a black man that you can't keep down. And another one, Drake shows off his custom Tupac chain. Clearly, he is a fan. <laughs> so well, that is the first <laughs> of many on the beast with Toy Sharif. So y'all stay tuned for more of that on upcoming shows of Love and Hips. Only here on Love and Hips TV. That's right. <laughs> hey. Hey. So did y'all like that? Yes. <laughs> I like that. Y'all give me some feedback. Baby, I was over know. here screaming for all the tea because everything was great. Right. <laughs> and Lil Nas X, yes, honey, he took it all the way. I love it because it seems like that he done came out. And he's, he's, out. he's out, out. <laughs> he's out, out. He I was wondering why he was all on social media with the baby bump and everything. I was like, what's going jumpsuit. on? Gold jumpsuit. Baby. At the, at the Change the the girl with the pink outfit, too, with the little curly hat. Baby. And he uh, actually, he picked up, I think, Best New Artist he, at, yeah, the, at the VMA. So he yes. was doing his thing. Congrats, Lil Nas X, for being who you are and that's, living in your truth. Because that's, right. that's the most important thing. That's right? all that matters. Okay. Let me tell you, ain't nobody going to put him in nobody's clothes. <laughs> no more. No more. <laughs> I'm out here with what I got to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> and dare you to say something to him. Okay. He is out, mm. out. So, yes, Toy, that was just amazing. Well, Shout, out to Shout out to Toy. Shout out to On the Beat with Toy Sharif. Baby, I would have been tongue twisted. I don't practice it about 15. But yes, every, everything was on point, especially well, the Jay, good. the Drake, good. the Tupac. Yeah, some of that stuff, I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> Let me have bring my notes, honey. So oh. I my notepad. <laughs> Me up the beat, Toy Sheree. All the time. All the time, spilling the tea. Well, yes. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Y'all, of course, so we got another segment on the beat with Toy Sheree. Y'all make sure that y'all tune in. Make sure y'all stay updated with On The Beat with Toy Sheree yeah. and your girl KP with KP Around The House. Mm -hmm. so, and together, we're going to get the job done. We're going to let y'all know what's going on. We're going to always give y'all the tea. We'll let y'all know what's going on in the fashion world. Absolutely. What's going on here in ATL. What's going on in our world. And in y'all's. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we're going to get in y'all's business, we're gonna too. We're going to get in your business and mine. <laughs> yes. So oh, man. We're going to go and jump to a quick commercial break. Mm-hmm. And we will be back, y'all. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Get you something to drink and come right back. I feel like you are my family or my yeah. brother already. Like, the the energy. Energy. like we hang out all the time, which we might have to. We <laughs> might have That's to. my best. That's my best. <laughs> you know, so, the the music is uncensored. You know, to a degree, whereas like radio, sometimes you can't really say how you feel about certain things because they're sponsoring the show. Right. You know what I mean? And like with music, is like, yo, this is how I feel about this, and you can't really change my mind on it. Whoopie whoop. Your thing, yeah. So do you battle? Like you rap battle? Or you just freestyle? I used to do the rap battles when I was hungrier and had more time. And it's not to say that I'm not as hungry now, right, but, but when you're trying to make a name for yourself, you'll do everything to make a name for yourself. So at one point in time, like the freestyle battles was huge. Mm -hmm. And I used to do a lot of those. Now they do those type of battles where like, I know I'm going to be battling you in 60 days and I'm going to write this rhyme. It's going to go like this. I don't have that much time to put 
any energy into another yeah, person who's not right. me so and my fam. You know what I mean? Did you watch the other battles? Did you watch like the verses? Because I was Are you about to that? ask you, how do you oh. feel about the UL? <laughs> 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 so y'all saw that was that was um we are on yes several platforms now I heart radio <laughs> yes uh for those who just tuning in and what else uh, apple spot apple uh spotify spotify uh gosh it's of course platform. youtube and uh facebook and all your other mm-hmm. social media ma- platforms but so y'all yes. got no reason not to catch those girls yes doing even if fine. y'all can't see us y'all, y'all can hear, can hear us, us. <laughs> So, yes. How about that? <laughs> so just make sure y'all go to iHeart. Y'all just search Love and Hips. We can pull up. Y'all gonna hear Kim and Toy Talk. That's right. If y'all can't catch us, so it's no excuse. If you can't catch us today on Sundays. You can you can listen to us. You can catch get us caught up and whatever. And of course, all the old shows and stuff are on YouTube. So definitely. definitely go back and watch those. So. Yes. Continue. Uh, you gotta get caught up because we on season three of Love and Hips three. TV. Love three. So yeah, we, we got to get caught up. <laughs> so go back and binge watch. <laughs> yes. So oh. back to you, Miss Toy Cherie. Yes. On the beat with Toy Cherie. I know in the beginning you were doing it, and I know that's when COVID really started hitting. So mm-hmm. you became really busy. Yeah. So what made you decide? Like you know what? I'm ready to jump back into it. Let's go. Like what was you and Charlie's? You know, <laughs> process or y'all thought process when y'all um, were trying to do this again? Of course, we wanted to touch. Uh, Touch on the health care, but okay. I didn't want that to be the main topic. Of because course, I always got a lot to say about everything. So, uh, <laughs> yes, she does. I do. So, I to incorporate everything in there, then we was like, I said, you know, do the on the beat and you know, kind of incorporate the on the beat with the little heartbeat and everything. That That's the nursing segment of it, but on the beat meaning that I don't miss a beat. And that I am going to share information with you guys. So mm-hmm. it'll it, whether it be whether I'm out in the community doing something okay. or whatever, I felt like um, it was an all inclusive thing. So that's what it is. It's just uh, um, we took it and expounded on it, and now we're gonna grow it and see what happens. And for everybody that doesn't know, this is really my passion. I love doing this. I love talking and just networking and so on and so forth that's my that's what we see out of other eye. passion right so uh the goal obviously is to really just make journalism uh the main core of my life and then everything else will work around it i'll never stop being a nurse i'm always gonna be a nurse that's your first love past. that's my yes. first love so i'll never give it up but i would like to sort of take a step back from it and, and do something else that I'm really, really passionate about. Right. And I think that's what people want to see. They don't want to just hear you talk. They want to find out for people that don't look at uh, Instagram or people don't look at um, mm-hmm. the, the shade room. Right. You know, we have to bring them updates. <laughs> so, yes, they need to hear the entertainment, the gossip, what's going on. Did you, speaking of that, and just to add a tidbit to yours, did you see where they, the judge dropped the T.I. and Tiny case? Yes, I did. See yes. That. yes, 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 yes. See, yeah. so I don't, I didn't understand how could they still press charges against them and something that happened so long ago. It just happened with just the same situation with the Bill Cosby situation yeah, right. or the R. Kelly situation. Mm-hmm. It's like this stuff has happened over decades ago. Mm-hmm. So I didn't like, you know. Yeah, you know, they say it's statutes. I mean, I guess it's certain statutes of limitations on everything. Right. Know, how long that they can hold it out and how much can be done in a court of law. So I don't know if that case actually got too old or what the situation or was with it. But how much money you get. Okay. Money talk. Now you better say and that. And the rest of the walks. <laughs> you better say that. But anyway. Not saying that to T.I. Tiny, that's but my, uh, say. money talks. But uh, I'm I'm glad about them. I love I me some T.I. and I Tiny, do. and you know I don't want to see them in any type of trouble. I, I just want them to continue to do them and do them together. Y'all are and whatever y'all, y'all do, do and whatever y'all do, do it behind closed doors. Yeah. You know, yeah. Y'all Everybody, I ain't all into this swinging and all this other stuff. Whatever y'all do, do it behind closed doors. Everybody ain't got. And then nobody. make these people. If you do decide to take them behind closed doors, make these people sign a uh, a document, a waiver to say, hey. Whatever we do behind closed doors, you cannot talk, talk about, about it. it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like you just can't go off people's word like they cool with it. No. It's hard for them to yes. be a celebrity. It's hard to keep your uh, private life, per, uh, your personal life private. So Hello? So, you know. Beyonce said the best. Don't want, 
What? What she said? Uh, what she say to hang out with me? You gotta sign a. Uh, what's the song? <laughs> what she say? Which you need a disclaimer, disclaimer, honey. Disclaimer like to, to sign out. Yes, sign you can't out. hang with okay. me unless you get a disclaimer. I get it. Hello, because <laughs> you ain't finna put my business on Front Street. Uh uh-uh, uh, oh, I'm gonna sue man. you. So yeah, that's that's what what it's about. Just to keep y'all informed and yes. the rest of what's going on out here in the world. And uh, so uh, I. Aim to do that, and y'all let me know if it's something that y'all want me to talk about. I'll definitely talk about it. Y'all can hit us up uh, in the Love and Hips uh, Facebook group, Love and Hips, the Art of Dating Thick. I always put your comments and stuff there if y'all got a question for us. So, so. we talk about the Love and Hips group. Lately, y'all have been off the chain. <laughs> we have had some major topics, not, on, not including the topic that we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about that in a few. So, of course, for those who's listening or just tuning in, Y'all make sure to call in and just give us your thoughts on the hot topic and just, you know, your opinions on it or whatever. But we had a question or opinion. I can't remember exactly what it was, but when I tell you everybody was going back and forth, I love the group. Everybody is so mm-hmm. opinionated, male and female. And we are almost at 1,000 members on that group. Y'all. Yes, so. yes. If you are a part of it, thank you for Keep chiming sharing in. It. Keep yes. sharing it. Keep uh, bringing friends to the group, uh, inviting people on there. It's, it's just a good platform for us to be able to talk to our audience. So y'all uh, make sure y'all, you know, join in with us on that. Now it's coming back to me. Before we jump into well, the hot topic, we had a question on there. They were saying, define a kept woman. Oh, yeah. So a lot of women were saying, oh, it's a oh, hoe. Oh, my God. Oh, it's somebody that's kept. Somebody that got that some money. Good. And then there was other women that said, no, a kept woman is a woman that's in a relationship, a married woman or a woman that's committed to somebody. Yeah, that and was a she, really, really good She one. wants for nothing. It was so many. And it was so many men that was just chiming in. They were just yes, listening. Yes, men. Like, and we usually have a hard time trying to get y'all brothers. That's the first time that we really had. <laughs> to chime in, but they did on that one. So tell me what you think a, a definition of a, a kept woman is. You know what? Let, <laughs> you know what my response was let, on there, right? Yeah. I, said it was, I said, it's the opposite of me. Because don't nobody keep me but my damn self. <laughs> I keeps myself. So yes. that was I said, so whatever the opposite of, of me is doing everything and just super independent over here, uh, it would be um a man that takes care of everything for a woman and she doesn't have to do anything but get up and get dressed. Uh, you know, maybe take care of the house or whatnot. Of course. Cook but some food, take care of the kids. Stuff. But for the main part, everything financially is taken care of. My thing was I was saying I would like to be on the flip side somewhat, but what it, at what cost? Because I'm not getting ready to give up my independence. I ain't about to give up having my own money, and I'm just I'm just not gonna do that. So I can't sacrifice that to just be at home and just be like a hush girl. I don't. Okay, so y'all know me because I have a whole different opinion on that. I get the whole independent stuff. I get woman. Yeah, I'm independent. I don't need no man do this. Yeah, yeah. But okay, I don't want to be one of them kind of independent women. I don't mind. Being a kept woman, long as I can continue to be Kim, long as I can continue to, if I want to go to work and not spend my money, then that's what, you know, that's what I don't spend my money. My husband or whoever significant other that I'm with, he takes care of everything I want or not need anything. It now, the nice. question is, is do you take care of his, you, do he take care of your hair? Do he take care of your nails? Or he just take care of bills, house cars, house stuff, yeah. stuff for you and the kids? Or do he take care of everything? groceries i guess it's just like i said it would be with me it would be being kept to a certain extent if i had somebody that was maintaining the house and took care of all the house needs and everything like that and uh i was able to work obviously and keep my own money then and still be able to do things that i like to do and not be like absolutely where i gotta ask babe can i no, go to no um, that's not gonna happen you know to the mall and all that kind of stuff can i have forty dollars yeah no no nah. That's where we got to, that's where we, that's why I would never, but I would never (laughs) not work. I'm not one of them women where I'm just going to sit at home and just have my hand out and be like, baby, can I have some money? Yes. It's nice to have some extra money, but I'm, I'm going to always work and continue to, you know, Mm -hmm. I could be a kept woman and an independent woman and maintain at the same time. Just don't change my independent and who I am. I'm not going to change who I am for nobody money. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I agree with that. So, yeah, that was definitely a hot topic that we really, I wanted to talk about. That's the first time that men really chimed in on that one. But our group, the Love and Hips group, have been off the chain. So, I definitely do appreciate all the comments and everybody on that. 
But we can jump on in to what the hot topic really is. Mm-hmm. It, are you ready for what the real hot topic <laughs> is? Let's see. Post that hot topic again. For everybody that's just tuning in, the hot topic is, should a husband defend his wife when his family talks bad about her? Hmm. Y'all make sure. Y'all call in 470-251-4647. Let us know. I want to hear your comments. Toy, Hmm. what is your comment? (laughs) Should a husband defend his wife? Um... I did uh, respond to this on the group, and I had said that uh, absolutely, and vice versa. You should not let anybody, you know, just talk bad about your spouse in front of you, no matter whether it's family. They can voice their opinions about certain things, absolutely. but you got to know when to draw the line, especially if the person is present, because sometimes uh, family members can be very disrespectful very. Uh, if they don't. Uh, particularly like your significant other, uh, they may, you know, throw some shade right there in front of them. So you got to learn how to, you know, get uh, get that under control. You know, don't let your family, um, you know, disrespect your significant other, your spouse. Um, I said that, you know, when you are, when you get married, you be, you separate from your family and you become one with your spouse. So therefore, I mean, y'all are supposed to have each other's back all the time in front of every over everybody okay so you can't let free, friends family or nobody uh throw throw shade at your at your uh at your spouse mm, well it's, you done pretty much took the words out of my yeah. mouth <laughs> <laughs> i mean both since both of us have experience with that um mm-hmm. i definitely agree even if especially harder for uh mama boys or let's say that the ones who moms have a hard time of understanding that her son has a a wife so it's no longer about her Mm -hmm. it's based on what the wife says not what the mommy says so as long as you know now that would just that'd be a whole nother subject if it it pisses me off that if a man would allow his mother mother to disrespect his wife and she's sitting right there and you don't speak up you don't say anything then we got a problem mm-hmm. already because one, you you're not man enough to stand up for your own wife. You gonna let your mama run, and I'm not dealing with nobody, mama's boy. That's one. But yes, you are correct. Um, in front of the family, you know, you're never supposed to talk down about your spouse, whether your mom, dad, family feels any kind of way. Whatever y'all arguments are, those are arguments that will, you know, y'all will deal with behind closed doors. But you know, with the dealing with the family. No, you you can you can have everybody has an opinion, just like everybody has a a you know what I'm trying to say. But everybody has an opinion about whatever they want to. But you, as far as my spouse, if I choose to marry this person or if I choose to be with this person, then that's something that I would deal with. But I would not disrespect him, you know, in front of the presence of my family because mm-hmm. you know that is that is important to me because you know if i stand for him he's going to stand for me yeah and some people get that misconstrued because they think that their family comes first or that their children come first uh over you know their uh, spouse and that's just not the case it's once you once you take those marriage vows it's them before everything and it's really and and a lot of people really have the hard time of believing that it's them before your children but it is so um you know because their opinion is more valuable right. than than, uh, than your children, honestly. Yeah. So a lot of people have a hard time uh, dealing with that, and that that's where it becomes a problem. It's like, Lord, I don't know what to say. You know, should I go with my family? If I get to tripping on my family, then they gonna get to acting up, and they ain't gonna want to deal. So what? Okay, it's it's, it's, hard. it's me and Bay. Yeah, it's hard, <laughs> and, but and that's what they gonna be around. Yeah, but they ain't going in, the, in, the event, in the in the event that Bay turns his back on you, you gonna have what? You're gonna need your family. family. If your family yeah, turned exactly. their back on you because you chose Bay, then what? How would you handle that? But family is family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, you, and you always gonna have some that agree, some that disagree. So it ain't like all the whole family is just gonna um is going to be on one accord and against you. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that. And I believe that if it's family, if it's true family, you're going to be able to come, come back to them for whatever. You know, you, yeah. you always can turn back true to True family going to always stand with you until the, yeah. until they see something happen where you're being disrespected or you're, you know, you're in a domestic violence situation. situation. 
Then, yeah, that's mm-hmm. when the family going to step in, whether they don't care what your opinion is mm-hmm. or not. At the end of the day, they're family. Yeah. So they don't want to see you hurt or anything. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So, I get that. You know. and, and most of our, uh, p- most of the people on the group were saying, uh, pretty what much saying, saying the same thing. Uh, Nikki, uh, Happy Changes Hodge said, um, uh, TF, the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, she said, only if he still wants the marriage. And it's a good marriage. She said, I would never let mm-hmm. any family talk bad about my about Mr. Hubs. She said, it's a respect thing for me. Absolutely. So, yeah, I, I, I get that. And uh, pretty much everybody else was saying the same, same thing. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, like, uh, and a lot of people say that, but they don't, they, they don't act that way. They get timid and don't want to speak up or whatever in front of their family. If you, if it, they had to say like my family, they loud and crazy. So sometimes you might be a little bit intimidated, but. Uh, Especially my family, because mine I'm gonna is. Say what I gotta say, yeah, and that's it. We know that, <laughs> and they know me. They know my me. family is majority male, so of course it's you know they, it's very dominant in my side of the family. So <laughs> you know to date me or to be with me, you gotta be a real tough cookie because <laughs> my family will. Believe it or not, they I go hard. Non-confrontational one in what? my family. I cannot believe that. <laughs> I, I cannot believe that one. I be on chill mode. I'm tr- I be trying to tell them, look, y'all not about to interrupt my peace because I know somebody about to get in an argument. But and I I keep my cool, keep my ground until on, when? Until you know, I snap off, and that's just that's just pretty much the trace of an Aries. We'll keep our cool for a minute, oh, and Jesus. then when the snap mode comes, <laughs> that's, it hits that's, you like a mad truck. It be like enough, okay? Enough zero, of this. Zero yeah. ten thousand and twenty <laughs> seconds, literally. That's the other side you just don't want to see. But yeah, but for the most part, I'm cool with my. With my family and my family has actually been pretty cool with my my exes and stuff too. I ain't really had them just talking bad about them. I done been in some situations that they didn't mm. like, mm. and you know, and they expressed their opinion, but they ain't been like disrespectful oh, in no, front of him that. and stuff none like that. that. No, you know what I mean. But once so, you were ex, you were ex. Oh. You know, yeah, you ain't that's gonna, right. I don't be doing nothing. You ain't bad. just gonna come back and hang around my family like we did cool, unless you baby daddy. <laughs> You ain't got no choice, you baby yeah, daddy, exactly. but you an ex, huh? Go on about your baby daddy comes to the cookout. Yeah, baby daddy pulling up. <laughs> so he baby daddy. You know, y'all cool. That's how it work. Baby daddy, y'all be cool after the fact, but an <laughs> ex is an ex. So yeah. it is what it is. But yes, so yeah, I, I, I agree with that, definitely. Um, You know, coming from a situation like that, you know, your family may agree and your family may not agree on decisions that you make. But long as one, you trust God first and put God first okay. in every situation in your marriage. Because, of course, in the marriage, you're going to put God first. Anyway, without God being in any marriage, it's not going to work. Anyway, mm-hmm. trust trust and believe mm-hmm. it will not work. It so, will. you know, as long as y'all have them first and, you know, and you and your husband already talks about, mm-hmm. you know, y'all have an understanding and your family has to understand that too. And if they can't understand it. Then it is what it is. We won't be coming around like that, cause you know, it, like, like they say on TikTok, that. when you see him, you see me. When you see me, you, you see, see him. him. Okay, <laughs> I love that. Okay, okay. <laughs> so that's exactly how I feel. That's true. Your husband's that's supposed true. to be your rider. Period. Mm-hmm. So right. if my husband can't ride with me, I'm sorry, y'all can't ride with me either. Okay. That's just how All I right. feel. You know, mm. it is what it is. But that's a kid KP tidbit right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's my little tidbit <laughs> right there. Tidbit. But yes. yes, so on a different note, um, whew. so as many of y'all know, I have been uh, <laughs> contemplating for years on me dropping my own boutique. You know, life has been a merry-go-round, ups and downs, dealing with it, financing, finding the right people, finding the right uh, people to, you know, help you mm-hmm. put your your vision together let's say that Mm -hmm. i have so much visions in my head but you need the correct and the right team to help you put it execute yes Mm -hmm. and sometimes the execution takes a while because you just don't want to just throw it and just say okay you don't want to you don't want to do it halfway no you want (laughs) to you want to it's just like they say it's just like your baby you want to birth a baby you want to do it right you want to give it time you want to sit and fester and think about it just like how when you know when you started strut it was it was amazing. You had your whole vision. It's still in the world. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, <laughs> you know the models that you Three want. You later. know exactly what you want. It's a vision that you... It's nothing that... You, you can't be taught that. It has mm-hmm. to really be in you. So, with that being said, like I said, I finally birthed uh, my mm-hmm. own boutique line, Classic Boutique. 
uh, it's been a couple of months now since I launched it. Around, I want to say around May this year, I launched it. But I finally did my first photo shoot, and just shout out again, shout out to the wonderful models that helped me bring my whole vision to light. But I want to go ahead and you know cue the video, and I want y'all to see a couple of things that I've been working on this weekend, and see what KP around the house, what we really been doing this this weekend with Classic. <laughs> So cue the video. What's up everybody? This is your KP with KP around the house. It's going down today. Classic shoot. Alright, 2021. I got my girls here. We're still one or two running late. You know Atlanta traffic is crazy. We got David here. I got a couple of my girls here. So y'all stay tuned. I'm going to take a couple of pictures. Y'all stay tuned. Classic photo shoot 2021. Your girl KP. KP around the house and we're wrapping up classic shoot 2021 we got David Price and he done brought the photo shoot from inside the studio to outside the studio so now we shooting outside Woo! y'all check it out we got on look at that dope y'all make sure y'all watch Love and Hips TV y'all stay tuned we're gonna drop the hottest photos the hottest photo shoots the hottest photographers it's on and popping KP around the house, KP, Love and Hips TV, coming to you. As you hear, what you say, D? <laughs> I love it. Oh my right God, there. I it fun. We had a ball. I, I want to cry again just looking at that. When oh I tell you, God. David Price, you know his energy. Yeah, I know. David's energy, he keeps my energy. Like, you can't be just not, uh, you can't just be real, just low key with David. David turns up. David wants you to hang from trees. David wants you to do some of the weirdest stuff, and he has the most highest energy. Great personality. He's so professional. I love him to death. David, you're amazing. And also, shout out to my assistant, my new assistant, Jay. He is amazing. When I tell you he brought life to those models, mm. he showed them different poses to do. How to break yes. your back, which way to look, baby. I said, you are official on the payroll. Everywhere I go, I need him with me. He took over. He Those did. The outfits were Yes. Beautiful. When I tell you, he helped me. He had one look. I had one look together. We came together and we combined it and we just, everything turned out amazing. Aww. It was just, I was, I'm speechless. Over the moon, I'm, right? Yes, it's, it's a feeling that I can't even explain to I see something it. that I visioned for so long finally come to fruition. Uh -huh. It's just, it's an amazing feeling. So, and I didn't want to bring nothing up to you, but while we're talking about, it, I'm going to drop it on Love and Hips TV <laughs> that uh, we're going to get in the, um, we're going to do a show, aka uh, Classic, and we're going to get struts <laughs> together, and we're going to do a takeover. So that's going to be coming up <laughs> soon. <laughs> yes, I, I already got the location, all that we oh, need. Really? Yeah, yes, ma'am. I, I, I wanted to surprise oh, you well, and let you know. <laughs> Look, thanks for telling you. I thank know you're doing on the beat with Toy Sheree, I'm but ready. I know, you I'm know, ready. me and Toy has been in the modeling industry for so long. We pretty much know the same no designers, answer. the same uh, models. Mm -hmm. that we pretty much. I got can, a whole collection, y'all. Yes, that's right. We got two of them, honestly. Yes, right. So they have been on hold since last year when I was supposed to do a fashion show, mm -hmm. and COVID came and took over our lives. Right. So I'm ready to get back out there and show what I got and Let's show take faces. Over. 
That's all we gotta do. Yeah, we we got the models, so we can ready to bring the game. <laughs> we, okay? we, de- we definitely got the models and the clientele <laughs> yeah, for that. Yeah, we definitely do. Yeah, so, so uh, Strut and Classic uh, coming to okay. a, a city near you. So I love it. Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're definitely gonna network that. Um, yeah, that, and that really just came to my heart, literally, while we was just talking. That literally just came to my heart that oh, I want wow. to do that, of course. So. Well, that's I coming soon. To, forward to it. Yes, honey. So <laughs> I'm, I'm just amazed on that, and um, just uh, I, I I don't even know how to exactly talk about it, but you know, so you've been doing it for a while, mm-hmm. so I know being in this industry, I know it's 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 been a hard situation to find like the models and uh it's to get a- the looks that you want, the perfect photographers mm-hmm. and the perfect locations the perfect shots yeah exactly. it's so overwhelming it's a lot to to uh, take on you know but mm-hmm. since we have been in the industry and uh, so long it makes us makes it a little bit easier to know to have those people that we can go to we know a mm-hmm. whole bunch of different uh it's just timing you know timing is everything so yes uh and we definitely have the support from some of our model sisters, so uh, you know they gonna come and show up and show out. So uh, it it takes a village, really, honestly, and that's what a lot of people don't realize. You know, is um, you have to have a support system for whatever it is that you're trying to uh, trying to endeavor. So uh-huh. yeah, so definitely. Uh, Got to got to keep it going. I think we might be having a little bit of a we might be with our phone over here. <laughs> but um, with that being said, I was uh, you know we have to support one another. We do. And I wanted to give um, a shout out to uh, Miss Sharon Bennett. She's, All right, uh, Miss Sharon. Yeah. So she is going to be having the uh, Miss the Miss Florida Georgia U.S. Plus World is coming up. So they are accepting new delegates for that. So. So um, you all can find out more about that event. Uh, I thought that we had the flyer for that. Um, Did we? But it may have it may have been showing up on the bottom of the screen. I know I saw it earlier. But contact the director, uh, Councilwoman Sharon Bennett. Uh, you can also. Uh, so yeah, there it is down at the bottom of the screen. I don't know if you all can see it, but S K well. Bennett. Uh, 1210 at gmail.com It's for the Miss, Miss Florida Bennett. Georgia US Plus World so Yes, Accepting delegates for that So we got to support each other In, the th- in our projects There it goes right there That's yes. what I was looking for Miss Florida Georgia US Plus World Now accepting delegates represent your city or town Hey Excellent prize packages y'all So yes. $1300 sponsorship To the national pageant in Birmingham, so uh, we out here um, uh, supporting our uh, black women, specifically hey, in business. Black we are doing magic. our thing, so make sure uh, to stay tuned for stuff that we got coming up, and uh, y'all support. And y'all make sure y'all do us. A lot of women that want to get into that, just like um, our girl Francois. Mm-hmm. A lot of women that want to get into, you know, doing that, and um, you know, doing, you know, being a prize and. Getting into the, you know, that world, it takes a lot because you got to have the perfect dress. Yeah. And you got to make sure, yeah, world. like, you know, sometimes you got to make sure that you got, I mean, the right form-fitting dress, the right crown, the right outfit, the shoes, the nails. So, and it's the same thing as modeling. A lot of women want to get into that. You know, support your sisters. Mm-hmm. If you know that, you know, if like, look, we'll tell y'all if y'all want to get into it, we'll have uh, get into model this calls. Type of- We'll do pageantry, yeah, journal, yes, anything, anything that y'all want to do, and never be afraid. I had a couple of models be like, oh, I ain't never did this, so I'm afraid to do it. Sometimes, as anybody know in life, step out on faith and just do it. You may not know how to do nothing. Exactly. But, baby, let me tell you, once you get into it, you got people around y'all that are genuine, that will help you, that will guide you to, you know, just doing whatever. Mm-hmm. Live your dreams. Live your truth. It's and nothing so wrong with it. We did the Ashley Stewart. Yes. Event, right? We had people coming up to us asking us, how do we get into how you do it? Do? How you do it? Just ask. Right. You know, get out there and, and ask somebody that's in it. Then uh, you'll be surprised how many people are willing to help you, you know. Absolutely. All you got to do is ask. Mm -hmm. Never be afraid to just ask and be like, a lot of people ask me, can you just let me know when next time you have a model call? Okay. Every time Mm -hmm. I think about it, I shoot them a DM or, hey, this your chance. You want to do it? Come on. Mm -hmm. I got you. So, yeah, it's all about, you know, women in power, sisterhood, just really 
want to help you grow and learn and just jump into it. I didn't know nothing about when I started modeling. I just did it, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's just think about it. Did we honestly know how to do it? No. Right. We just jumped into it, took a couple of pictures, but once you start going, that's it. If, if it's in your blood, it's, it's, it's in your blood. I didn't even really see myself in that. Somebody else saw me doing that, uh -huh. and they presented it to me like, you want to model for me? And I was like, model? Like, what? You know, don't I got to be like six feet tall? <laughs> I, was, I was shorty. They was like, no, just bring the life and bring your energy. And uh, that's what I did. Did a couple photo shoots, and some of the pictures took off, and you know, here I am, you know, so uh, you just never know. Sometimes somebody else might envision something for you that you really didn't even see. So just, you know, sometimes you got to just step out on faith and, and do that. That's the key know? word. Step out on uh, faith and pray mm -hmm. and really kind of ask God to just order your steps and kind of guide you into the right direction. You would be amazed at the doors that he opens. Mm -hmm. He might do some connections of something that you met somebody five, six years ago. And then here you are now. It, it's just the connection that happens, and this hmm, exactly. God God works a miracle. And I was gonna say, you know, uh, support the people that surround you too. Because if you're trying to, uh -oh. oh, we got a caller. Call me now. Love and Hips TV. Hey, so I just wanted to make a comment about the uh, husband thing. Okay. So okay. I just <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What you say? No, I said go ahead, sweetheart. Okay, so I feel like, in my opinion, when it comes to being married and being as one, if they disrespect your wife, I feel like it's disrespecting the husband because y'all come as a team, y'all come as one. Absolutely. So it definitely, I feel like the husband should definitely not let that happen. Absolutely. We we totally 1,000% agree. We have the same mm -hmm. agreement with you on that one. Yes, that's right. That's why I said you, uh, you and him <clears throat> are one, so you can't. You attack it. You attack him. You attacking me. That's right. Like I said, when you exactly. see him, you see me. Exactly. I said to my husband one time before because I had dressed up in an outfit and my husband liked it, but his mom was like, "Uh, that's not what a wife should wear." And he was like, "If her husband like it, doesn't matter what." Anybody Amen. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> that's what I'm talking that's about. You had to put that out there. That's, that's that clap back, baby. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Shut it down, baby. Shut that's it down. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you. Okay, thank you for watching it. Thanks for calling in today. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> now, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. That's what you call standing up for your wife because if he like it, that's all that matters. Okay. Now, what's your, and what does what a wife supposed to look so like? To, what's she not supposed to wear? She that's probably, a, I bet she, she got an old school mom. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes honey. He's, she, when they want you to wear skirts down to the ankles. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah, that ain't <laughs> We ain't doing that. Baby. Her mm -hmm. husband thought she looked good, so that was all the matter. He said it, too. So, uh, love. Hello? Yeah. Now, that's how you support your wife. <laughs> that is. <laughs> you have her back, and she'll definitely have oh, yours. Lord. But I was, before she called in, thanks, Carla, for calling in, okay. by the way. But before she called in, I was talking about supporting people. Uh, people's endeavors, you right. know, so if, if you know somebody that's trying to do something, you know, support them and what they're trying to do, buy something from them, purchase something from them, don't try to purchase it on a discount either, because when you go to the store, you don't negotiate the price on, uh, unless you're at the swap meet, so don't be trying to lowball people, you know, support you them low ball and, uh, you know, just because you probably gonna have a project or something that you weren't working on, whether it's starting a business or whatever, you are going to need some support back. So you got to give it in order to receive. So, you know, that that's just, just wanted to put that out there. And <laughs> since I'm talking about being supportive, y'all can always advertise with us. We are wanting to uh, get into making sure that we advertise for small businesses and stuff in the community. So, you know, you all can go to our um our website, loveandhips.tv.weebly.com, mm -hmm. and um, it'll give you all the information on how to advertise on our page. And so y'all y'all definitely check us out on that level. Too. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all mm -hmm. make sure y'all advertise. And yeah, of course, if you have a business that you're trying to get started, of course, that's the best way is networking. Networking mm -hmm. is the best way um, to get any business started. You know, if you got somebody that's already got a platform, yeah. Why not use it well, to your use advantage? The platform. Use the platform. Mm -hmm. Build from it. One thing I've learned from dealing with a, uh, being new to entrepreneurship and learning it, sometimes you can't focus on just the money. You mm -hmm. got to focus on building the brand. You got that right. You have to focus marketing. on, yeah, your marketing. <laughs> learning how to build, you know, grow your baby. Sometimes mm -hmm. you grow that, 
the money will come. If you go into anything, be like, oh, I want my money up front. I had to learn that the hard way. Mm -hmm. Like, you think I start all this and then be like, okay, where my money at? It doesn't work that way. Money going everywhere. Money, going out. Everything going out. And it nothing coming, coming in. in. <laughs> yes. And then you find yourself in a situation where you're like, dang. You mm -hmm. know, so you have to definitely focus on that. You definitely have to make sure that you pray about what you're doing. If this is your passion and you don't pray about it, then it's, it's it going to happen. It shall be done. It's going to happen. <laughs> Everything be. in life takes time. It nothing does. just don't. Sometimes it do and sometimes it don't. Just keep pushing. Keep going. Use the platform. Um, if y'all, like you said, if you need me, Toy, Anna, anybody that, you know, anytime you need anything as far as helping y'all or a platform or it's just for um, new artists coming out. Of course, mm -hmm. if you want to perform your song or do anything here on the show, contact us, reach out to us. You can actually come to the studio, mm -hmm. perform. You have your whole background. <laughs> we will promote it on all social media platforms. You, you got to use it for what it is. If you got to start from somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, because you just never know. We live in a world where... Instagram, we can come insta famous. Mm -hmm. It takes <laughs> one person to that's see it. you, and that's all you need. It, you can just take off from there. It ain't like back in the day we used to have the tapes and stuff. Oh lord! And you, you know, back in yeah, the day, like Master P, and you out the out trunk. The trunk. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 yeah. You, you be on social media. We, hey, we somebody see you. Always, so it's right. a little bit easier to put your face out insta there. Insta famous. Mm -hmm. That's all it takes. So you know, just believe. Try it. Step out on faith and just try it. So yeah. and on a different note, also I was talking about the um the models. A lot of women I feel like they are afraid to model because of their age, age or size or. But let, let's talk whatever. about shout out to my girl Tina with TLA. She has models that's I think the oldest. How old? I think oh, the oldest wow. like sixty something yeah. years old, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Beautiful women that still modeling at any age. You don't have to be, shoot, uh, twenty four and this size and that size. You can model at any age. Tina, all, all of them, TLA, they holding it down. Beautiful women from oh, 40 on up, taking over, doing doing bigger and better things, better than the young people. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, I, I don't have them mega stallion knees no more. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have that size. No more. I, I don't have a couple of kids. So... I ain't built like I'm used to, but let me tell you, I still do still, my thing. It's still a platform, and you still do it. And I still do it. You know, so. <laughs> so I it mean, doesn't that, matter. one thing now, you know, it's not, everything's not all cookie cutter now, you of know. Of course. Because everybody can, brings their own unique thing to it. You know, people are looking for something that's different. You right. You know, so. And we both are different. Mm -hmm. And we're so. both full figure plus women that's been modeling for years. Mm -hmm. They have finally, it's sad to say that they are finally accepted. Yeah. The BBWs in the community <laughs> and the BBW modeling, they finally said that I don't understand why, but like you said, that situation. Because they know that realistically, most right. women are not a size one or two, and that Pretty. we make up the majority, us plus size, Hello? Us size 10 or whatever, if you two digits in, in size that you consider to be plus size. So that's, that's the majority of us women out here. That's how I felt uh, about that situation. Beauty. Uh oh, we got a call. Loving Hips TV. Hey, lady. This is Charlie. Hi, Hi Charlie. Charlie. How are you? Hey, I'm doing fantastic. Hey, you know what? I, I want to let you ladies know. Look, I get nervous every time I call. Oh, no. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, you, you ladies, I'm telling you, y'all got it going on. Thank you oh, so thank much, you. Charlie. Congratulations on the new iHeartRadio. Yay! Yay. Yes. yes. Uh, Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. What's yes, it, yes a bunch of them. Yes, there's a ton of them. <laughs> We're doing big things over here. Yeah, exactly. And uh, the numbers are growing on it, and, and I'm very proud of, of you guys' success. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. The two things I do want to mention, you know, is we still... The runnings for ATL Hottest. That's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, we are. You listen to go and vote uh, at atlhottest.com. Vote for Love and Hips TV. That's right. ATL Hottest online TV show. That's right. That's right. That's right. Right. And then we got, who else we got in the lineup? ATL Hottest. ATL Hottest, full Still, figure model. Yes. Miss <laughs> KP's <Amber> raining. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then we got ATL Hottest, uh, host, TV personality. 
TV personality, uh, which would be me. I'm glad to be in the running for right. that this year. So. Right, you gotta your name. <laughs> yeah. Toy Sheree. Toy Sheree. Toy Sheree. Let them know, know Toy Sheree. <laughs> Y'all know the name. Go vote for me at ATL's Hottest dot com. Exactly. That's and right. We got two more, right? Oh gosh, yeah. Yes, we got ATL's Hottest uh, TV host. TV host is Anna. 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 <laughs> and then we have ATL's Hottest. Anna Alom. Anna Alom, yes. <laughs> and then we have what? The Hottest Magazine. The magazine. Hottest magazine. Iconic magazine. Iconic magazine. Yeah. That's okay. right. And then we got photographer. Von Gano. Yes. <laughs> That's a lot of people to <laughs> vote for. We're going to have to set up something before we got everybody's name on it. You said you heard of him. He's, he is dope. He's dope. Him. Yeah, yeah. I've had the liberty to work with him, so he's yes, pretty amazing. Yes, he's a pretty amazing photographer. <laughs> We're going to have... Charlie out. All right, Charlie. All right, Charlie. <laughs> All so, right. y'all... Y'all see how we do. Y'all know how we do it. Thank y'all for just continuing to love us. It's been three seasons, three years of Love and Hips TV. And we are still here and we are going to be with you all. So uh, we'll keep on coming on and bringing the tea to y'all every week and letting y'all know what's going on in our lives. And y'all continue to let us know what's going on in yours. Okay. That's right. Love and Hips out. Until next time, two weeks. See y'all later. Bye. Thank you.